To understand the direct current, let's go right to the root. That is, DC is sometimes also used for transmission of bulk power. We call it as HVDC. This is the reason why most of the electronic appliances works with DC only. To understand the direct current, let's go right to the root, that is static electricity. When we rub a glass rod with silk cloth, exchange of electron happens between these two. Now, if I place a copper wire between these two, electrons will actually start flowing. And this is what we call as current. Now, if I draw a graphical representation of such type of current with respect to time, it will look like this. If you observe this graph carefully, you will find that the amount of current and direction of current is constant throughout the time. And this type of current in which magnitude or the amount and direction does not change with the change in time is called as direct current. Yes, it is as simple as that. Direct current or DC is also called as steady current. This type of current flows in only one direction. From the graph, it is clear that direction and the magnitude of current is almost constant throughout the time. And this is the reason why we call such type of current as steady current or direct current. If you are interested in knowing what is current, you can watch my video on that. You will find the link for that video down in the description. Now the question is, how can we produce DC? Well, we can produce DC by using DC generators. We also have rectifiers which can convert AC into DC. Most common example of rectifier is all the battery chargers that we use daily, including our mobile phone charger. This converts AC supply which we get into our home into DC. By the way, AC is alternating current which is different from direct current. We can also get DC using batteries, solar panels, etc. All the batteries that we use gives us DC only. DC supply is generally represented by a symbol of battery or such horizontal lines which indicates the steady supply. As we have seen, DC remains constant throughout the time. So wherever you need to have a constant and steady supply, you should go with direct current. Now let's look at some of the application of DC as applications are the most important part of any learning. DC power is widely used in low voltage applications such as charging batteries, automotive applications, aircraft applications and other low voltage, low current applications. All solar panels produce DC power. DC is sometimes also used for transmission of bulk power. We call it as HVDC transmission. This is because HVDC system suffers lower electrical losses than AC system. As you all know, most of the electronic appliances uses DC power. For example, our mobile phone. This charger converts the incoming AC power into DC and, and then this DC power is given to the mobile phone. Now the question is, why most of electronic appliances uses DC power? Well, the answer is, we cannot store AC and hence anything that requires power backup must have DC. This is the reason why most of the electronic appliances works with DC only. If you know any other reason, you can let me know that via comments. Also, you can let us know some of more applications of DC if you know via comments. We'll be happy to read those. So, I hope you found this video helpful and you now have a very clear idea about the direct current or DC in short. If you like the video, do hit the like button and share it with your friends. Also, do check out the description of this video as I have mentioned some of the other videos which you may like. That's all for this video guys. I'll see you in my next one. But till then, keep watching, keep learning.